This story is just as much about Cox Communications as it is about T-Mobile and Verizon. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, Mike Dano, and this is LightReading.com. A new Delaware Supreme Court ruling could pave the way for cable giant Cox Communications to enter the wireless industry. So they've had these aspirations and they've had these plans to become a mobile network operator, a virtual, right, MVNO essentially, right? And they had a deal with Verizon, January 2021. There's a pre-existing deal with Sprint between Cox and Sprint that predates the merger, which would have tied them to Sprint with this agreement. T-Mobile believes that Cox Communications is tied to T-Mobile now with said agreement. But, and this is the big but, according to court filings, the monetary dispute between the parties was significant. Cox arguing that it would save $90 million by selecting Verizon as its MBNO partner. T-Mobile argued the difference was only around $24 million. So this was what we feared, and this is what we really thought was the only thing that made sense. The only reason why Cox Communications would want to switch from a deal with Sprint slash T-Mobile to Verizon is the bottom line, and it would have to be the money. Clearly, it's the money. Now, hear me out on this. All right. If the difference is indeed $24 million, like T-Mobile is saying, that's enough to go with Verizon. If it's $90 million, I mean, that's... <laughs> it's a slam dunk. You leave the T-Mobile side, right? Because, they, I mean, it's just a lot of money difference, right? Like, you, even you could argue that if it was $10 million, it's worth it for a company to just switch. So, you know, they had this thing that there's this court injunction. Um, what did they... Let me see the terms of the injunction here. It says here, the new ruling is likely being cheered by top executives at Cox, the nation's fourth largest cable provider. We, oh, here it is. We vacate the injunction against Cox and remand the case so that the Court of Chancery can determine whether Cox and T-Mobile have discharged their obligations to negotiate in good faith. So essentially, I think what they wanted to do is give T-Mobile the opportunity to essentially match or beat Verizon. And then, boom, you got yourself a deal between Cox and T-Mobile. And all would be gravy, right? In, in that situation, Cox would hold up its end of the bargain, dating all the way back to the Sprint situation, and then T-Mobile gets their opportunity to get the business. So, um, unfortunately, it looks like things are not working out for T-Mobile here, and it looks like things are leaning towards Cox being an MVNO through Verizon. And Verizon does appear to be giving out the best rates. I mean, think about it. They, got, they bought TrackPhone, right? Uh, they got the deal with Mobile X. They chose Verizon. Uh, you got Charter, Spectrum, Xfinity, right? All these MNOs or MVNOs through Verizon. They're doing something aggressively. And I don't know, I guess T-Mobile just not able to match in terms of pricing. Verizon's winning that. What do you guys think of the story? How do you think this is going to end? What's the most likely scenario? You guys think the right things are happening? You kind of disappointed with the way things have played out? You all let me know. Uh, what you think. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. My only disappointment is T-Mobile wasn't willing to match whatever Verizon was doing. Then they could have kept the business. It would have been theirs. Anyways, uh, like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notifications to never miss an upload. Uh, please check out some of the links in the description box. Uh, the Patreon page link is there. Support us. Get early access to content and exclusives not found anywhere else. You can also get discounts and promos on Los Mobile. Best access in the game. Best prizes in the game. My Twitter handle and email in the description box. Subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. Never miss an upload. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.